And we wanted to know what about people who've been vaccinated and had an infection? Do they need a booster? ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on the emerging science. There are two categories of people who have had both a vaccine and a COVID infection. Cases where someone got the vaccine first and then got infected are called breakthrough infections. Someone who got infected first and then got vaccinated has what's called hybrid immunity. When it comes to the question of boosters, we know a lot about hybrid immunity and a lot less about breakthroughs, says immunologist Dr. Alessandro Setti. If someone is, was it infected and then gets vaccinated, they have a very strong immune response that uh, often uh, exceeds what is seen either in natural infection or uh, following vaccinations. Dr. Seti's lab at the La Jolla Institute for Immunology and several others have shown that people with hybrid immunity have exceptionally strong protection with 25 times more antibodies than vaccination alone and 100 times more antibodies than infection alone. It's all because the vaccine looks like a repeat visit from the virus. The first time around, the immune system say, OK, fine, uh, there was something that probably eliminated it. And then it comes back a second time. It means it says, oh, I maybe should really start to pay attention because whatever I did, <laughs> it didn't do the trick. He says for most people with hybrid immunity, a booster is probably not necessary. Although a study out this week showed it will still elevate your antibody levels. And that might be helpful, especially for people at high risk. But what about people who got vaccinated and then infected, so-called breakthroughs? It may very well be that the breakthrough infection has acted as a, uh, its own booster, if you uh, wish, but we don't know that. Dr. Seti says breakthroughs might operate like hybrid immunity, but they're still running the experiments, and there are theoretical reasons why the two might be different. It could be that someone that uh, has breakthrough infection didn't have as much of a uh, good, uh, strong immune response in the first place. A preprint released Thursday looked at people who had breakthroughs in the Provincetown outbreak. They found those with breakthroughs had a 34-fold jump in antibody levels. That's a bigger jump than you get from a booster. But as we wait for more research, doctors say at this point, people who had a breakthrough should follow the same booster recommendations as everyone else. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Now, the CDC hasn't issued any official guidance on boosters in people with breakthroughs. However, the agency says you should wait until you recover from an infection before getting a shot.